Hey everyone, we're about to finish Sonic's modeling by continuing to add hair pieces and adding some ears. So shift D to duplicate this top strand, and it's gonna be the top side quills or hair or whatever they are. Get it roughly shaped so it fits in between them a bit. Once you're liking the look of it, position it over here on the x-axis. Then set the pivot point to active element and rotate it on the z-axis. I want this piece a bit thinner than the other, so I scale it down on the local y-axis. Now just continue fine-tuning the shape by positioning and scaling the curve's handles. Once you're happy with how it looks, it's time to make another hair strand. So add a mirror modifier, set the mirror object to body, and boom, done. Having rotated this hair piece kind of squished the handles together on the Y axis a bit. So if you select this vertex last, and then scale up on the Y axis, you'll kind of offset that. Alright, time to create the final hair piece. I'm gonna duplicate this top one again, rename it, and like with the others, get it positioned and adjusted until you like it. Now let's get this one rotated on the z-axis. And it did the same squishy squish with the handles. So let's select this vertex last and scale up on the y-axis again. Now just adjust the radius of the handles. Probably good to scale it down on the local y-axis as well. My goal is to kind of get this outer edge to line up with the brow. It'll help during retoppoing. Now to create the final hair strand. Add a mirror modifier to the curve, and boom, done. 
It's looking good, let's add some materials to them. Save your project if you haven't already. Save all the time? Save twice, just in case. And all that's left to model is the ears. Add a circle. I'm gonna use 16 vertices. Rotate it 90 degrees on the x-axis. Set the pivot point to median. I'd like a flat edge on the top to help with shaping the ear. So I'm gonna rotate the circle by 11.25, since 180 divided by 16 is 11.25. Math! And with just a couple adjustments, it starts looking like an ear pretty quick. You can build this ear shape however you want. My goal is simple and low poly like with everything else. When making animal ears, I like to duplicate the original ear shape and rotate it by 90. Then you kind of get a nice starter shape for the back side of the ear. To get a better view, I'm going to move the ears out of the collection and disable everything else's visibility.
To make it slightly easier to position the ear on the head, I'm going to set the origin to this point. Then I'll be able to visually see where my object is rotating from. Select all and shade smooth. We've got a couple flip normals, but no biggie. Hit Alt N and recalculate outside. Now let's re enable the visibility of Sonic and position the ear on his head. Once you're happy with its positioning, mirror the ear and add some materials. He's looking pretty good. I'm, I'm very happy with how he turned out. So we've got the basic shapes all worked out. Next time we'll do some retopoing so that the head and body are each one object instead of a bunch of objects all jammed together. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Please leave us a like and subscribe if you're not. If you want to check out the Sonic model, we have it posted up on our Patreon for free. Thank you again, stay safe, I love you all, goodbye! Goodbye. Oh.